Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles and welcome back to France. We just previewed this beauty and we gotta say, we're both pretty impressed and very, very excited to show it to you. This is the world premiere for Saint Barth 75. Oh. Welcome to the spa. <laughs> I've never seen a boat with this specific layout. You'll see what we're talking about, it is pretty amazing. Well, how about this view? You guys, I'm like blown away by this. We both didn't expect it. These guys are revolutionizing the concept of this type of yacht right now. Please tell me if you've ever seen anything like this on this size of a vessel. One of my favorite bows I've ever been on under a 100 foot yacht. The idea of winning the lottery and buying one of these yachts, it's a sweet dream, but we all know that real wealth is not built overnight. It's a calculated plan of smart moves while saving money and investing for the long term. So I would like to thank Wealthfront for helping me spread this message. During these uncertain times, it is more important than ever to make sure you have an emergency fund. That's three to six months of living expenses in cash for food, rent, and other necessities to be covered in case anything would happen. But in this market with high inflation, you have to put your money to work as much as possible. Wealthfront is offering you 2% APY so your money can earn more. That's 20 times more than the national average for traditional bank accounts. Don't fall for these alternative banks offering you 5 to 10% interest rate while not providing much security. Wealthfront Cash Account is FDIC insured for partner banks so you can rest assured your money is well protected. So go check your savings account right now and if you're not earning 2%, then you're losing money by not bringing your cash to Wealthfront. Click the link in bio to start earning more on your cash today. Special invitation for Rico Rocks to step oh, on board. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Finally. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We can even do like a nightclub rope for you. Come on down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, pretty cool. The uh, passerelle I'm standing on, actually. It's not a traditional passerelle. It's actually kind of like a staircase, which can go higher or lower. What do you mean, kinda? It is a staircase. Yeah. Which functions as your passerelle. Let's start with the swim platform. Because this is actually a huge feature. 10 centimeters above the waterline. Oh, so it lowers down, but not all the way. So it's a very comfortable step actually from the cockpit onto the platform to go into the water. To launch your toys, for example. Mm -hmm. But one really cool feature, which I've never seen before, is that it's actually an external fuel tank. This is pretty crazy. So you guys can see it right here. It says fuel, it says diesel. So it's actually separated. So instead of having jerry cans for your tender, they're actually carrying it in the swim platform. Which is just brilliant. In addition to extra diesel fuel. So when you're at the place where the fuel is inexpensive, you just take some more with you. And when you need it, you just pump it out of the platform. It's really convenient for the tender because we're standing on top of the tender garage. Correct. I think we should give you guys a little bit of a background. I think part of the reason this is such an amazing design is because it was designed by a couple who were yacht together, boat together. So they have a lot of different things that they felt like they just couldn't get on the boat. With you know when they were trying to just buy one especially in that size yeah after searching for a while they just uh, decided that it just makes way more sense to build it so technically it's a purpose build so i asked them what were the five things that they have to point out that they decided it was worth it to build their own yacht and they couldn't get all of them on anything which was already on the market yeah so basically their mbbl right a short yeah, mbbl yeah. of five so one was a tender garage which was completely flush there's no tender on deck and you have no idea the tender's even here. So that was number one. Number two is jacuzzi, which is really easy to use. Number three was the layout, which made you feel like home and which allowed for the galley and the salon to be together. Also the galley to be up instead of down. You'll see what we're talking about, it was pretty amazing. Number four was all the cabins to have an ensuite. And number five was a unique anchor system, which is when he opened up the hatch to show us, Rico went, wait, is this 
hull fully aluminum? And he said, yeah, the whole boat is fully aluminum. Actually something we didn't realize from the beginning. We just assumed it was fiberglass because it's just absolutely beautiful lines. So while we show you and go along the way, keep that in mind, this is a fully aluminum construction. Oh, the boat was built in Holland. <laughs> you know? All right, let's All right. do this. Let's, so, let's really get on I move mean, on. first thing you notice immediately is this very, very, very large cockpit. So they wanted to have a real beach club. Which it is. Huge beach club, which is why he wanted the tender away. So we have seen when we when we previewed the boat yeah. that there is storage all the way at the bow, which has you know, lounge chairs, which could be easily set up down here. Actually loungers. Loungers, yeah. loungers, not lounge Big chairs. Big loungers. Yeah, loungers. So you set it up as a real beach club. You've got your toys, your swim platform there. You tend the garage is here. Your engine room is here, which we're gonna come back and see later on the tour, as you guys know. Let's look through it. So we have storage areas here. Yep, exactly. You wanna so open one maybe yeah, just sure. to see it? So we do have some storage here. It's really deep. Yep. Right here is our, our little grill. electric grill. We've got pop-up lights. Big ones, actually. Really nice. Even a rod holder right here. And then a bit more storage there. Yep. And then on this side, we have a little bit of a seating area. Your shore power. Shore power cables, yeah. Yep. And all of this. It's in Dutch, that's fine. Yeah. So there's a remote control for the staircase and the remote for the swim platform. And the crane, which is inside the garage. And the, cra and the crane to get the tender out, yeah. Tons of storage here. Everywhere that I went, like, is there storage there? There's a storage there. So yeah. you can pretty much assume that you're gonna see a lot of it. All right, so this is not the end of our beach club. Before we walk right into extension of our beach club, just appreciate this beautiful wooden paneling here. It's really, really nice. It gives yeah. you that beach club feel. Our beach club definitely extends to this. First of all, can you please look at the height of the ceilings? It is massive. You feel like you're in a really, really large vessel. All these windows, I mean, we're surrounded right now by two big boats on each side. So you're losing a lot of light. I can only imagine how bright an area it is when you at anchor don't have anybody next to you. So they have loose furniture here. Um, this is built in and it's just a comfortable lower salon, which is a bit unusual coming in from that beach club kind of down here. And this feels like home. You know, you're just walking into your living room. So I just see storage everywhere. <laughs> Where should we start? We have our pop-up TV right here. This is our easy way to open doors see that and then here we have a little bit of storage actually and obviously our TV lift got management system and the fusion stereo and on this side we also have tons of storage here it's really really deep and this whole outboard is beautiful I mean the design choices here are gorgeous the owners and designers are designers <laughs> so you can definitely feel that and all the features they put a lot of thought and effort into making this unique and really really beautiful for example this is actually metal it's layered metal yeah liquid okay. metal yeah it's really cool i really like the loose furniture yeah it choice. is it's a really nice furniture can we check out the brand <laughs> This is one of the first wine coolers on board. First drink fridges, and there's six of them on this vessel. And some storage here as well. All right, and then we're gonna go forward. I mean, you really feel like you're in like a high-end home. Yep, like a, right? like a loft. And the way the ceiling is so tall, you just really don't feel that you're on, on the yacht. Speaking of that, look how beautiful this looks. Yeah, and the lighting is really gorgeous, you guys. We had to turn off some of the lights, just, you know, with our issues we have with the LED lights and the frame rate, so we just, for the ease of it, we turn them off, but it's gorgeous lighting everywhere. Here we have our washer and dryer, a bit of storage. On this side, we have a day head, which makes it absolutely <laughs> perfect. This is pretty brilliant, right? Yep. So you have a sink here. Yeah, with the Dyson, uh, oh, oh my God. Careful. <laughs> with the Dyson um, pan dryer. Really cool. And you don't need more than this to wash your hands. Yeah, I would, I would definitely, uh, Think about this. Such a space saving. It's pretty amazing. Love it. Okay, let's keep going. They're quite similar, so let's start on the port. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we have a twin size bed. I'll start here. The first one of the guest cabins. Yes, correct. Used every bit of space they could to make sure that they have 
all the necessary storage. <laughs> They've got some, <laughs> some rods here. They are using this boat a lot, so it's only like maybe seven months old. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at these doors. Mm, nice doors too. Yeah, really nice doors. And then they kind of kept this loft feel in all of the staterooms. So the bathrooms are open. There's no door here and it gives you extra space. Which kind of makes sense. Like, why do you need a door here? Yeah, I mean, hey, some people are very private about this and I oh, get it. because of the, the hack. Yeah, okay. but it is a choice, right? So yeah. I'm pretty sure if you're building one of these, you could you know, maybe have a pocket door filled in or something. I mean, how cool that. does this look? But this is absolutely beautiful. This was inspired by a landscape in St. Bart, actually. Love it. All right, check out the head. I mean, the <laughs> shower. <laughs> so how would you rate it? I mean, for sure, one person that's like actually kind of like one and a half. It's very, very beamy here. Like it's yeah. got a lot of room on the side. It's really beautiful. Oh, and, and the at, windows continue. Look at through. the size, size of the window. Oh, it is cool. huge. This is big Grand Banks next yeah. door which by the way we've toured and there's a tour now channel and pop up right here if you watch your mobile device <laughs> but yes it is absolutely but normally like gorgeous. if we wouldn't have if we wouldn't have yachts right next to us yeah i can just imagine how much light is coming in here let's keep going okay i think you would use it this way you would not open the door out you would open it in one of my pet peeves like just have the shower door going both ways it's just one way why it doesn't make sense okay and then on this side it's very similar. It's pretty much the same. And then shower is just a little bit different. It's a little smaller because you don't have the window here on this oh, side. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's still very it's still good size. still really good size. What's that? A vent. No. Is yeah, it? that's a vent. Huh. Get the humidity out. So the vent is here instead of here, mm -hmm. which I think makes a lot of sense. Yep. Right, take your humidity out right away. Everything just feels really beautiful. They did a great job on the interior design. Okay, so now we're gonna go up. Just think about it. This is very unusual. This is unique. <laughs> We've both just said like, we haven't seen something like that. All right, let's go up. Welcome to our, well, technically would be a Flybridge Sky Lounge on your typical layout for this style of a yacht but no <laughs> i would say this is kind of like our main different. deck yes yes it's very different it's got this open concept it's super cool super open cool layout. galley yes so the galley was really important you want to make sure that they got a large galley you know for the style of a boat and put everything they wanted in here so we'll start here and work our way or what yep okay well, you can start. This is your, your department. Proper coffee machine. Yeah, nice coffee, <laughs> coffee machine. Coffee maker. For sure. Got storage here. Some drawers here. Oh, nice. Oh, it's really Very well nice. done. Soft closing. How about the countertops? They almost look like metal. They're they do, but it's Korean, right? Yeah, but it really feels like, what's this metal called? Like so. a brass copper? Yeah, or, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some more storage here. Can you see some? Mm -hmm. More drawers. Ooh. Yeah, lots of storage yeah. space, actually. Really good. I mean, the windows are sick. It's amazing. Big size sink, some more storage. This is interesting. And it got my wheels turning. spinning, turning a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. This is actually a commercial dishwasher. So it's on the smaller size, right? But it's only taking like three minutes to wash the dishes. That so is so cool. It's super fast. So instead of waiting to fill up your whole dishwasher, you just quickly throw stuff in and wash it three minutes, it's done. Yeah, and it probably saves a lot of water too. Am um, MBBLing this? This is going consideration. I don't know. I've, I've yet to see something like this on the pleasure yacht unless it was a super yacht set up for mm -hmm. charter. And usually you always see those in those nice full blown yeah, chef yeah. galleys. This is very cool. All right, then we have, oh, I already forgot. It was a steam oven? Yep. What? It's an oven and a steam oven. Interesting. I mean, somebody really likes to cook. Oh, look how they just built that in. Yeah. I love that. So also, you don't hurt yourself or get hung up on it. Yeah, you never know where to put that. So that's really cool. Man. I like this, yeah. Yeah. And it's flush. It's completely flush. Yeah. It's not sticking yep. out. Yep. So we got a fairly large induction field. This is your hood. Yeah, there's an on and off here. And it's an induction, technically a two burner, but with induction, you can... And then how's it called around. again? I now mean technically a griddle. He said... Hibachi? Yes. Hibachi? Anyway, I had no idea Millie even made these. Me neither. Yeah. 
pretty cool. I am adding a lot of things to NBBL here. We gotta rethink our galley a little bit, I think. This is very inspiring, I gotta right. say. This is really cool when you come on board boats and you go NBBL, NBBL. Like it is just, it's rare now because we've been on so many. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. It's gorgeous. So they've got two drawer fridges and two drawer freezers with an ice maker. Oh, good size ice maker. A really good one. And then we're coming to our starboard and we have a Look proper this dining, dining area dining table for eight people the design of the dining table is a piece of art already everything is so inviting like all the fabrics that they've chosen yeah it really feels like a high-end home and did do a really see, fantastic do you see the job. base of the table oh hold on i gotta show this i mean it's a pulver, doesn't it right? look really cool oh it's really really cool that's some serious metal work right there. And how they thought about it. And this is such a perfect little cozy up spot. That's my spot after dinner. Well, you read a book or you just want to hang out on your computer, you know, have your little space for coffee. Like this is probably would be a space everyone would fight for. Yeah. Because it's just so cozy. I absolutely love it. Spend a lot of time here. So coming forward, well, you can do that in a moment, but check this out. So when you're underway doing a little longer passages you're probably hanging out here and mm -hmm. this is another really really cozy spot yep and then also you know you're underway like the captain whoever is steering the boat captain and and first mate you've got proper chairs yeah, so. but, but even if you're underway and you have guests on board and preparing a meal like you are in the middle of everything yeah like you're part of the conversation you just, you know, turn your head around and you look what's going on. I mean, you're in the group. You know, it is worth mentioning. It's definitely a choice. It is way more common in the Met to have a very separate area for, mm -hmm. you know, for crew. And the galley is always kind of assumed that's, you know, a crew space. In U.S., uh, we look at it very different. Even if you have crew, you go in for that open floor plan. So uh, we, you know, personally, of course, prefer this. But it's quite difficult to find this in the Met if you want to uh, owner operate. Yeah. Especially in this size of a boat, I, I can think quite a few people that could own or operate this that we know that, you know, that boat. For sure. And that's what they would like because yeah. they're not, you're not going to have a crew. If you're a couple, you can absolutely run this boat. Oh, for sure. It's your real, true Maybe not space. as your first boat, but if you have a little bit of experience, for sure. <laughs> it is beautiful. I mean, they did a great job. So um, then, all right, go ahead, Rico. Looking at the helm, so again, like Victoria mentioned, we got two helm chairs for the captain and co-captain. <laughs> And then we have Humphrey stabilization system. We got three large Garmin screens here. Got a side power bow thruster unit here, Volvo Penta ignition and start and stop buttons, the shift and throttle controls, Volvo Penta IPS joystick, and the boat is also outfitted with a Dockmate remote docking system. So you can stand on the side deck in the aft in your beach club or on your swim platform and dock the boat right from there with the touch of your fingertips. And down below here we have two Garmin VHF radios. I found more storage behind you, turn around. Look, there's a storage underneath the bench. Oh, this here? No, and underneath as well. There's like a drawer or oh, something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, more storage. Yeah. <laughs> storage everywhere. All right, let's go down below and check out the Another rest. Another guest room. Yeah, the rest of the cabins. So technically, we're going aft a little on bit on the starboard here. side. Yeah, yeah, on the starboard side, but we're midship right now. Yeah, midship yeah. forward. Our master is all the way forward. So just so you guys kind of have an idea where mm -hmm. we are. Is this a queen size, Rico? Yep. Or is it a little it's bit smaller? It's a yacht queen size. Yacht queen size. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you would have put some doors here, it would have been really small and hard to kind of accomplish what they wanted. They really kept it loft as well. So you could see how it's totally exposed mm -hmm. to your bathroom, but it does give you a chance to have this many cabins on board. There's definitely a closet yep. with a bit of a hanging space. There's its own ensuite head, you know, that's this. So the other way to resolve it would have been to have a shared head, but they definitely felt like, hey, I agree. I'd much rather have my own, even if it's exposed to the cabin. It's like a lot of these high-end hotel rooms you have. You and know? there's still plenty of floor space to get dressed, to get ready. You're For not sure. bumping constantly into walls. Yeah. People don't mind it in a hotel. Why yeah. not do it on a boat? All right. Now we're going to go to our master, which I think was a little confusing how quickly we just went here, but that would be will be a door here, <laughs> just so you guys understand. There's definitely a separation. So this is a four 
cabin layout. Yes. Well, how about this view? Oh, did you see it, Well, Yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Cool. Actually, come here. This is really cool. So the owner just showed it to us and check this out. If you're laying in the bed, you actually see the reflection. In the mirror. In the mirror. Yeah. I don't know if you guys see that right there. You're actually yeah, seeing you the jacuzzi. See it. It's pretty cool. Show us the bedroom, the primary, <sighs> okay. the owner suite. Well, first of all, it is definitely very tall as yes. well. We still haven't figured out how tall this is yeah. when my arm is extended, but it is above that. So great space. There's a bit of an office area here, an office space. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we've got some storage options here, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing how far forward the windows go? Yeah, absolutely. And it's also pretty amazing that it's very stable. Like we're all the way out here, right? Yeah. I don't think we've got stabilizers on. No. No, right? No, no, no. Yeah, we're moving a little bit, but it's pretty minimal considering. So it definitely makes sense. And this is an aluminum, so it's a lot. So <laughs> definitely it's, a lot heavier than fiberglass. I believe fiber it's a... Probably a queen size. Queen or 180? One one, it might be a 180. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful. It's a really nice state room. You've got a little bit of a settee here, more storage right here. And then um, they also did this here. They left it open, which I love, and did a walk-in closet with probably the best windows I've ever seen in a walk-in closet. I mean, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. And why close it up? Like everything is put away beautifully. You've got some, you know, storage areas here. You've got access actually, mm -hmm. some kind of access here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but everything is put away. You've got your big closet in here mm -hmm. and you also have an extra hanging space. I think it's brilliant. You know, let it air out. Why close it up? Okay. And then we're coming to our port and that's our head same beautiful oh, sink dual. it's slightly larger it is larger oh, that's so they did cool. a dual faucets yeah so instead of having dual sinks you have dual faucets which totally works if you want to brush your teeth next to each other it yeah, totally you makes can, sense you can absolutely do it yeah it's absolutely great and then let's check out this shower oh that's pretty large i got a big rain shower head uh, for sure two person shower very comfortable two person shower incredible windows i mean the windows are just crazy in every cabin yeah it's absolutely amazing and then one cool feature we haven't mentioned this is actually a hammam as well you guys i'm like blown away by this because it's usually you kind of feel it in the space we both didn't expect it no um and you can see all the equipment is right here okay. so for those who don't know what hammam means it is a steam shower steam bath steam. We call it steam shower in US, but yeah. yeah. Now let's go show you another really cool feature. We're gonna go all the way up. And we're gonna go aft. Please tell me if you've ever seen it. Anything like this on this size of a vessel. No. 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 It is pretty tremendous to be able to have something like this. Well, first of all, immediately you notice that you have another helm. Correct. It's not like you would expect it. You would just assume so they would leave it there. It's also not your classic um, flybridge. No. It's like a half fly, half aft cockpit. I mean, it's like, I think they need to invent a new word for that. I kind of feel like these guys are revolutionizing the concept of this type of yacht right now. I'm sure they know it. But I'm very like curious how quickly this I, is going to take off. Totally. So. Because it is definitely unique. So you do have your split station. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really cool in the way as well. If everybody hangs out here on the exterior space, you know, you're an owner operator. You don't want to miss all the conversations and not be part of the group. So you just move from the interior helm to the exterior helm and you in the middle of everything. But even if you have a larger group on board and some people hanging out on the interior and some people on the exterior, you're still in the middle of the conversation. So this is pretty amazing. So here on the second helm, it's very similar to the interior one, just a little smaller. We have two Garmin chart plotters. We have our bow thruster control, shift and throttle controls, Volvo IPS joystick here, uh, the helm wheel, two BHF radios. This helm chair can go up and down electrically, so you just have it a little bit raised. Really cool setup. What is the visibility? I haven't been up here yet. Okay. I mean, you don't see the bow all the way. You do longer journeys. You don't really need to see what is right in front of you. I yeah. mean, like, you know, two feet in front of you. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. But then also on the interior helm, 
I mean, this view, look at this, it's pretty amazing. And you can tell that someone's been into boating for a while when they make sure that they have a cup holder. Yes. There, really yes. important. Okay, so let's start like this okay. and kind of end there. Well, first year, huge doors on the sides. Mm -hmm. So this whole area here could be completely safely closed up. Very safe. If you have pets, if you have little kids, grandkids, whatever it might be, you don't need to worry too much about it and actually, you know, can have kids walk around. I think I'm MBBLing this, yeah. stealing this idea, borrowing, what is it, whatever that's called. Getting inspired. Getting, definitely getting inspired. So these are two tables. You can see guys, they're both exactly the same. Uh, this one is set up as your typical dining table, mm -hmm. right? And this one is set up as your coffee table. So I would love to demonstrate it, but I'm gonna let Rico do it. When I saw it, my eyes were just big and I didn't pay attention so how as it you guys, as you guys can see, if you have the coffee table and lounge table set up, you need to have space to actually put your legs in between, right? Yeah. So now if you wanna have their high-low, great. But if you just put it up, it's still gonna be kind of awkward having dinner at this table. Yeah. Because you feel like your plate is just way too far away yeah. from you. So in, the, so in the typical setup, what you normally see is the base has sliders and then you just slide it. And this one can actually be locked in different positions. So as you guys can see, you can just push it back, you lock it into place, and now it's your proper dining table setup where you're actually, you know, sitting properly. So you put both of them up and then you add a leaf in the middle and you have a pretty large dining Very table. large dining. And BBL, what do you think? Really cool. Put it in the comments. How do you guys feel about this feature? That's not all. There's a huge layout area, right? Lounging area. Yep. And if you want to take a proper nap there, look at these, my favorite convertible backrests. They are heavy. They're <laughs> heavy, right? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't They're just me. They're not going me. anywhere. Well, cause you know, it's, it's probably really good quality. Yeah, so now you have a really big layout pad. Look how huge it is. Yes fantastic napping spot yeah and you've got shade on top so you've got your carbon right carbon? yeah carbon fiber yeah. poles with a nice sail right here so we have a fairly large hard top on top here keep you protected from the elements with two large windows and sun shades which can be retracted back if you want to have the sun come through directly or you want to watch the stars and the moon and this here is super cool as well so of course your pop-up TV here, mm -hmm. which if it's down creates a pretty nice DJ setup. <gasps> you are so right. This is a perfect DJ setup, and it's big enough. For yeah. Sure, big enough. Oh yeah. So it allows for another wine fridge. Wine fridge. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're underway and you don't want it, you want to make sure that because this could actually really spin mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. you just pull it back. Oh, and, and you lock, lock it, it in into place. place. That is cool. Pretty brilliant. Should we show you the best for yes. last? Okay. Let's, let's go forward. We're going to go on our starboard. Yep. All right, we're going to go to the bow. Oh, look really? at these windows. The windows, and then look how even the hole is. I mean, it's an aluminum, and it's beautifully done. Yeah, it's really done. well done. Beautifully done. Really nice. Pop-up plates here. Mm -hmm. And chafing protection. Another okay. drink fridge. Of course, you need to have another drink for Perfect Chicago. location for it. Pop-up lights. Oh. Welcome to the spa. <laughs> Welcome Look to the at spa this. at sea. If you guys are wondering how the owners came up with some of these, the most relaxing features that you see on the boat, they do own a really beautiful spa, in hotel, Holland. resort in, in Holland. So they know what they're doing and that is why you just want to stay here. I kind of wish we didn't have to run after this. We could hang right? out. I yes. wish I would have brought my swim trunks. <sighs> all right, go ahead. Well, you it is France after all. Maybe I don't even need <laughs> swim trunks. <laughs> right, you do the tours. This is such an inviting space here at the bow. Anywhere you anchor, you get a little bit of breeze. If it's hot, you get 35 degrees Celsius, you're 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to just have a nice spot in the shade with a little bit of a breeze. This is the place to be. And then on top of all that, let's say it is hot outside, you don't even heat the jacuzzi. You use it as a cool down pool. No need of jumping in the water, kind of. You can just cool off quickly, sit back down here, have a cold cocktail. Ah. So here's real talk. I'm always very hesitant. Like, you know, 
often you guys are writing, hey, would love to have a jacuzzi. And I'm always like, I get it. I get why you're saying this. You have one at home. You know, it's just always there. It's very different on a boat. You know, you do need to drain it. You do need to fill it. It is kind of a pain, pain in the butt usually. And, and you need to get fresh water, a good amount of a, fresh a huge water amount. because it's not that small. So anytime I see these, I always think like, it looks great, you know, and, and beautiful in, in the pictures, but how practical is it? So get this, this spa drains down in four minutes into a tank. And from the same tank, you can fill it back up in four minutes. Yep. That is a game changer. Which the cool thing about it is that you're actually not wasting the water. You just put it back into a tank in the low part of the boat, below the floorboards in the bilge area. So it adds to your stability when you're underway because you have, you know, the weight down low. Yeah, yeah. And when you back at anchor or on your marina, wherever you are, you just push a button and four minutes later, the water is back in there. Yes, you need to heat it up. But sometimes you don't need to heat it up. A lot of the times you, you just perfectly find having a nice little cool, refreshing Correct. spot. It is so cool to be able to do it so fast. It's not like this when you're about to go and be underway. Sometimes when you're an anchor and let's say in the Caribbean, the weather changes really quickly, you know? And yeah. sometimes you can have some bad weather coming in really fast. You don't have to think about it. You're like, should we fill it up? Should we not? It might, we might get some crazy weather later. No four problem. Minutes. You know, four minutes, you can just drain it back into the tank. And there's something we didn't show you. In the master cabin, on the control there, it's just a push of a button. Fill it, empty it, yeah. you just push it and you can see it from your master cabin right here. You can see this thing getting drained. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It is absolutely so brilliant. So another very, very interesting feature, which I have not seen on a 75 footer before. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I just haven't seen it yet. This specific one, it was designed by the owner. Yes. He designed this mechanism. We have a stainless steel chain, as you guys can see, and this custom retractable anchor system so as you guys can see, we have the little cover here and then a bigger cover. So it's all mechanical. You can see in there a little bit. As soon as the anchor is all the way up, this hatch opens up and the entire anchor system with the anchor falls and lowers into this compartment. And you're not seeing any anchor on the bow of the boat. Thanks for the Nothing. wake, guys. These guys were going pretty fast. Yeah. What's brilliant about it is how far away the chain is from the hull. Yeah. It just really protects the hull that you don't have the... Yeah, not Usually at all. it's the roll is right there and, you know, it's just, it is, it's great. It is pretty incredible. That's the first for me. I've never seen it on a 75 footer. All right, let's show you some other cool stuff here. Let's show it right here on this side yep. because I know what's in here. So you know me, I'm like, is there storage here? He goes, yeah, storage? Yeah, there's storage. And uh, he opens this up. What? I mean, is this brilliant or what? Oh, there are our lounges. Yes, exactly. That's where they are. And this has storage underneath as well. Oh yeah, storage under everything. It's fantastic. I think this is my favorite spot on the boat. It's interesting because normally I feel like an, a bow, is, bow yeah. is a bit of an afterthought. Like it's... Agreed. You always think like, yeah, you're going to use it, but you don't really use it. Usually it's like, it's like, oh yeah, let's put some sun pads. And then maybe occasionally if you have a friend come over, they just lay on there for 10 minutes for pictures. Yeah. And that's kind of like what it is. The bow is usually a picture spot. That's really what it is. But this is a hangout spot. They put two umbrellas here, yep. which was absolutely brilliant decision as well. And if you would design one, you can also create a bigger sun sail here. You can actually shade way more of this area if you wanted to. I think if you're doing a Caribbean, you probably do a little more. In the med, you want to enjoy the sun because the season yeah. is short. But, um, in, but even in the with the umbrellas, it already makes a big difference. You just find the shady spots. It's I'm just beautiful. gonna go out and say it. It's one of my favorite bows I've ever been on under a hundred foot yacht. Yeah, amazing. Let's go. Brilliant. Let's go where? Let's go check out the engine room. Let's go check out the tender garage. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's do it. What's this? Oh, sink. we've got a sink here. Wash yes. your hands. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So you've got staircase and worth mentioning on both yeah. sides to go down. So you can, uh, you obviously don't need to go through the lower salon. You can just come up straight up here. So it's really nice yeah, and safe. Full walk around. Full walk around. Yes, exactly. All right. Well, we've got Frank helping us out today. His crew. I'm just kidding. 
This is actually the owner and designer of this vessel, and he's very proud of it. Him and his wife Danielle, they both said like, "We'd rather you guys do the video," so we're doing it. But, <laughs> but we got him to help us yes, at least in the last like, moment you, of the video. You gotta help us open this up. All right, let's do it. This is amazing! Yeah. And then we can put it out after behind the swimming platform. And that crane even extends. Yes. It, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a triple extension, right? Yes. The swim platform, it doesn't go into the water, right? No, it's 10 it's, centimeters it's above? into the water, but the top is 10 centimeters above the water. Above oh, okay, the water. Got it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I did was right with the 10 centimeters. I just want to make sure I said and it right. also a stair is coming out. Which behind. stair? The swim ladder? Yeah, there's a uh, stair under from one meter to uh, you have not a step from my to my 80 oh, centimeters. Oh, so once it's down, there is a step in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That All is right. fantastic. How big is the tender? 3.3. Okay. It's five persons. Yeah, it's great yeah. size. So actually, when you do s service or work on the engines, you can take the tender out and you have all the access to the pot, That's to, possible. The, to the IPS we, we, drives. Yeah. The IPS pots are under the tender, uh, but when you must uh, something to do, do about the, the engines, you can yeah. uh, do it from the other tool. Uh, sure, sure, sure. But yes. if you had like a bigger service, you just take the tender yes, out that's easy. and you have nice access. I can put access. the tender out and also the aluminium back under the, the tender. Oh, you can that's remove that yet. too? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Also with the grain. I mean, then you really have access like yes. perfect. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Let's see the engine room. Yes. Okay. Okay, let, put the grain we'll in. get out of the way. So the pool empties out and fills out pretty much the same time as it takes for you to get the tender out. <laughs> Actually, I think it's less. <laughs> Which is unthinkable, unthinkable. Wow. All right, engine rooms. Oh yeah, we just open one side. So we got the Volvo Penta IPS 1050s, which have each 800 horsepower. Volvo Penta with the IPS series. They actually came up with the numbers because the IPS drive system is more efficient than a conventional shaft. So that being said, the number technically is an equivalent what you would have estimation wise to a conventional shaft driven vessel so as you guys can see we got the generator right there and that's what a uh, frank the owner was actually mentioning so we got the tender once you remove the tender out and then the pan where the tender sits in actually can be taken out too if you ever had bigger services to be done you have full access super convenient with the big hatches opening i mean this is a paradise for a mechanic because you never need to really break your back or do engine room yoga the two air conditioned chillers right here on the outboard side a spectra water maker on the forward part of the engine room the filters easy access to get to actually to change them out and then as well as between the engines really easy access to the ray course if you need to change the primary fuel filters and there's still some bicycles in there what yeah, two baskets. Really? <laughs> and Just also on the two side? Electric steps. And toys, water toys, lots of water toys. So, wait, Michael, yes. I have a question. Stabilizers? Humphrey uh, oh, it's, fins. Oh, it's fins? Yes. I, I almost would have expected a gyro on this boat, but no. it's fins. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. The fins uh, on this boat is much uh, better as a uh, gyro. Yeah. And they work really well, right? The yes. electric fins and quiet. Yes, that's awesome. right. Yeah. You have yeah. Uh, electric. Two or four? Two. 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 two okay. Fins, yeah. Perfect. Of 1.3 square meters each. Oh wow. And also at zero speed. When we are uh, on the anchor, mm -hmm. the fins turns 180 degrees. Uh -huh. And so the fins takes always the chain uh, strong. And not you can uh, swim to the chain. And you can damage the, the, the bow of the, the yacht. Oh, okay. That's very beautiful. Are yeah, you NBBLing things or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, listen I'm, listening, I'm listening. Yeah, you're getting inspired as well. Well, this is the other half, the better half of Frank. Part of the reason this is so amazing, I think when couples design boats, you get the best boats, honestly. I truly believe that. Every time we yeah. see like a really cool boat, there's a couple behind that. So thanks so much for uh, sh showing it to us, allowing us on board. You guys let us know in the comments what you thought of it. Let us know how many items you've added to your NBBL. I'm very curious on what they are. Maybe I missed something as well. So definitely put in the comments. Thank you for all the likes and double likes, triple likes.
quadruple and, comments. And definitely one thing, like we have seen many boats and I've been on even more boats, which not all of them are on the channel. I've never seen a boat with this specific layout. It is and I so unique. In my book, I thought, okay, we have seen everything at this point now. Like, what can you still do different? I mean, everything has been done, more apparently not. You sort of revolution, revolutionizing this concept and uh, congratulations. Yes. It's really, really well done. For uh, hole number one, mm -hmm. Conceptually, it's absolutely amazing. I'm curious what you're gonna do because I know you're gonna. Yeah. You already, I'm sure in your head, you're going through, going, mm, change that a little bit on the next one, add stuff maybe. Yes. It's how it is, and for good builders. So I'm so excited to see where you guys are gonna go with it. Yes, we can optimize it for sure. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also very excited that it's an aluminum built boat. So if you want to incorporate any changes, it's actually possible. Versus you build in fiberglass, you have a mold, you kind of, that is what it is. You spend so much money on the mold you're not going to change that anymore yeah exactly well thanks for watching you guys if you are interested in our own purpose build please check us out on our other channel and on patreon for extra content instagram you know all that cool stuff you guys know links are here go and enjoy the outtakes <laughs> ciao <laughs> Thanks, well, friend, for helping us spread this message. What? Sorry, yeah, Matt? Invited me. You want me to invite you? Yeah, I'm hot. I'm in the sun. Oh, wow, the they're heavy. Go, go, go like in the, in the middle, middle, yeah. They're really heavy. I don't think I can do oh, it. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, good. It's not just me. <laughs> Watch out, the backside. Yeah. So you know what Frank is missing? What? The DJ setup right here. I thought you were putting a DJ setup up there where you've got well, a... I guess, I guess you need two, sorry. With, with a TV, we found one for you with a TV um, upstairs. It's yes. a perfect DJ yeah, perfect. setup, right? Perfect. Kind of technically a two, um, I mean, it's induction, right? So what is it? Did I just activate this thing? Oh, okay. okay, sorry. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hibachi okay, Hamachi. Yeah. Hamachi? 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 It's a griddle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? I think it's, I thought it's hibachi. I think so. Not hamachi. It's hibachi. No, hibachi. You guys, it's hibachi, right? <laughs> it's a girl. All right.